Hi, my name is Brenda Castillo and this is The Morning Dive. I am from Whittier, California and today we're doing a underwater neon runway show. The thing that attracted me to coming back to the morning dive is the unique challenges that it presents. I always love a challenge. As if underwater photography isn't hard enough in its own right, now doing it with black light and neon makeup, I was just really excited to try to tackle it. I wonder. Oh no, that's really dark. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Yeah, it glows, but it's like dingy. Today, I am a glow-in-the-dark runway model. Ready? Yeah. I do have experience shooting underwater. I've done it twice now, once as a mermaid and once in just regular old pretty dresses, but uh, they were both equally difficult. I think my strong points are my eye for detail and I call myself Bren Jill of all trades because I'm kind of good at everything. So some people may see that as a flaw, but I love how well-rounded I am. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I think those things complement each other and end up making you stronger. <laughs> Yeah, it's way different. Yeah, that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one does good too, though. Yeah? What is it? Yeah, it's different. My biggest quality for shooting underwater, I would hope to say, is grace under pressure, just because there's so many elements that are foreign to modeling when you're underwater, and I'd like to think that I don't show that. Mine, if he doesn't notice me, and then if he notices it, and it's like all the flashbacks happen. Like, I'm like very like visual, so I love it. Yeah, I love mean, so it. Like, I am always a little nervous to shoot underwater because really the only person I get to do it with is Mary, so it's not like I get to do it all the time. So it's, uh, it's a skill set that I would like to develop further. I'm really into it now. I follow some underwater models who are just incredible and I want to get on that level. <laughs> the way I prepared for the shoot today was I had to quickly order from Amazon some neon makeup that, that would respond to black light. And last night I had a friend come over. I did one half of the face this way, another half this way. And so I tried all these different looks and techniques. And then we went swimming at her sister's house to see if it would hold up. And I learned a lot in just that one little, a few hours of applicating. The advice I'd give to someone shooting underwater is practice. I actually finally, for the first time, this is now my third time shooting underwater, on the drive here, I practiced holding my breath and then modeling. Like, 
trying to focus on just being serene and like emoting through my body as opposed to just holding my breath. And I really feel like it made a difference. The biggest challenge today was definitely the makeup. Definitely found that the eyeshadow palette was much more viable underwater than any of the paints. Those were a big pain in the butt. And the pool was gritty at the bottom. So it, was, it had a very rough finish. So we had a little snafu, because I was trying to be extra. But other than that, I had a great time. The thing that I found hard today was working with the glow-in-the-dark paint. But as far as modeling, this, you know, like I said, my third time, and I definitely feel like just leaps and bounds ahead of how I used to be. Skills required for underwater modeling are my favorite phrase, grace under pressure. There's so many variables that you don't get to practice in oxygen, you know? So I think that's the hardest part. But it was kind of nice today to just be in a swimsuit. So I wasn't in a mermaid tail, I wasn't in a long dress. So maybe that's why it was easy because I didn't have so many other things getting in the way. Okay, the thing that I was most proud of today is my ability to sink down and expel all my air and stay at the bottom for significantly longer than I've ever been able to. In the past, I would go down, touch the bottom, and then just immediately start coming up. So I'm like, I'd try to get all my poses out <laughs> in that time that it took to reach the surface. But I was, I was living down there. It was good. The way that I applied acting and modeling skills is, I mean, the same as any other job. You know, the camera's on or the audience is out there or whatever it is that adrenaline gets you going. So it's kind of like whatever is going on, it doesn't matter. You're just kind of zoning in on the project at hand. So the last time that I shot with uh, Mary, it was me and my best friend, but this time it was three other models and I don't know them. So it's a little different trying, you know, getting personal <laughs> with somebody you don't know, but it was awesome. Okay, something you don't know in the next 30 seconds. If you want body paint that is glow in the dark to stay underwater, you have to use a cream base so that it has something to cling on to. Otherwise, in the water, it will just kind of crumble and dissolve away.